started in uh, 1989. Always been based in the West Midlands. A lot of people know us for what we do. Pretty loyal. Family uh, run business. Uh, my partner's Josh Shergill. He came in with me uh, 18 years ago. Uh, when it started to grow, we specialise a lot in uh, pigeons, racing pigeons, birds, citizens and non-citizens. Uh, we offer a really good service on that side. And we offer a lot of out of hours um, that a lot of people don't do, and we do. Uh, we never seem to have a problem uh, getting on with our customers. They ring us personally out of hours, talk to us about birds. I've got quite a good knowledge uh, about birds as well. Uh, which sometimes uh, clients always like to hear your side of it. If they have a problem, I always have a way they can get out of it. Um, if they have advice on vets, I can always give advice on vets. Uh, shipping, export, import, I know every rule that's going and I can always give that advice as well. We can show you now how it is, it is to import and export pigeons throughout Europe. Uh, and with my contacts that I'm going to introduce you to tomorrow uh, and Tuesday, I hope you can take it on board how busy uh, it can really be and how easy it is to buy a pigeon that you're sought after uh, in Europe. Uh, we'll get it back to the UK, all safe and sound. Um, and it could be a £50 pigeon, it could be a £50,000 pigeon, it still gets the same treatment, first class all the way. But today we'll go from the West Midlands, we'll travel down to Dover, uh, we'll get on a boat, we'll be on the boat 90 minutes, uh, and then we'll get up into the hotel tonight, uh, rest the birds, feed and water them. Uh, we'll plot up tonight in uh, Bruges, in Belgium, uh, and then we start our run tomorrow, our daily run, which is works by clockwork really. Um, we go through Belgium, dropping off, all day tomorrow, up into the top end of Holland, and we finish in Holland, and then we stop again. Um, at this time, the vehicle's empty. Um, we pick up birds all day Tuesday, coming back down the same route, getting back down into Cali on Tuesday evening. Uh, we travel back up through Tuesday night, uh, dropping whatever birds we can off on the way. A lot of the London guys like us to drop through the night, so that's what we do. Uh, the birds get back up into the West Midlands, they're rested, they're fed and watered, and then they'll join the birds that go out onto the UK run on Thursday. Uh, the birds are all rested all day Wednesday, uh, and obviously they get priority treatment from uh, my loft manager, who's there permanently keeping an over eye on them, getting make sure they feed, make sure they water, especially the youngsters. Uh, young birds we try to always deliver on the Wednesday, uh, because I don't like keeping them, I like to get them to where they've got to go to. So we send them out on the vehicles that are going out collecting in the UK on the Wednesday. Uh, here we are at Dover, we're approaching now with the booking in process, uh, which is pretty straightforward. And they have all your details, your passport, and uh, you pay for your crossing. On your paperwork, it's all official to bring the birds out, and away you go onto the boat. This is the next stage of the journey, I'm just getting onto the boat. It's a regular thing, my second home. It's a nice night tonight. No breeze, no wind, so no fun to be had. Uh, just getting on priority park, so as they park us with fresh air. And uh, that's what the birds love, mate. So we do the best for them at all times. Uh, this is back in, we just got off the boat now. Uh, this is the Homewood straight for the birds that are going to be delivered into Europe. So we make our way now up to uh, Leuven in Belgium or Bruges, all depending on where we're dropping. Tomorrow we're dropping in Bruges uh, to Pippa and we'll be there at 8 o'clock in the morning. But tonight I'm going to say good night now and have a good night's sleep myself so the birds can have a good night's sleep as well. See you all tomorrow. First drop off point is uh, Pippa. Um, and on the way into Belgium, uh, first always first drop off point is Pippa. Uh, but Monday's probably a um, uh, drop off day for all the birds coming from the UK, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales uh, into Belgium and Holland. It's quite a long day. We get stuck into it, we get on with it, we don't moan. Uh, everybody knows the times, everybody's got set times, everybody's waiting for me. 
and uh, we've built this rapport up over the last 18 months. We use Walker's Transport because um, we have deliveries every week in, in UK and, and Ireland and that is important. Uh, and also new clients uh, need to realize that transport isn't difficult anymore now um, to England because they have these frequent deliveries and also for a reasonable, reasonable price. So um, we, have, we have good, um, good comments uh, from, from clients uh, about Walker's Transport. Um, and I think it's, it's a good cooperation between PIPA uh, and Walker's Transport this way. Right, the next stop we got is uh, Joe Herbert's at uh, Herbert's uh, Auctioneer House. Uh, we collect off Joe every week. Okay, my name is uh, Joe Herbert. I'm the oldest son from Philip Herbert. Uh, we founded this company uh, in 1990, about 26 years ago. This moment, my sister meet and I are running this business. Uh, our main business is uh, buying and selling pigeons worldwide, uh, and, uh, but we focus also on the English market. Uh, we are very pleased with the partnership with uh, Walker's Transport, and it's uh, very punctual, and the uh, pigeons are collected in good condition, but also very important for us, delivered in perfect conditions to the customers. For many years, we didn't focus much on the English market anymore because there were a lot of trans uh, transport problems. But since we know uh, Walker's Transport, we, can, uh, we increased our turnover with England a lot. And many uh, British ventures from Scotland, from Ireland, from all over, they buy again pigeons because they know transport by Walker's is very punctual and very correctly. Yes, when we say we're going to be there at 10 o'clock, we're there at 10 o'clock. Uh, we're never late. We do keep in contact with them through the phones all the time, um, giving them a regular update on how we're going, what we're doing, tell them when the birds are going to be there. Um, and a lot of the Dutch guys and the Belgian guys, they all appreciate it um, because uh, they live and breathe these birds and they, uh, they really do think highly of them. So we have to take that on board and treat them with the same respect is what uh, they do. You need a special license, uh, the DEFRA license in England, which we have, and you also need a DEFRA license in Europe to carry up for 24 hours, uh, which we also have that as well. Uh, the COC, certificate of competence, uh, we're just putting drivers through that at the moment, uh, so as we can carry poultry. Our name is FIRST uh, in Animal Transport, that's the official name. Um, we transport live animals all over the world, mainly pigeons. We have certain destinations. Our main destination is Taiwan and Japan. For Taiwan, we consolidate uh, pigeons from all people, also from England, uh, where we work with uh, Walker. Um, they are picking up the, the pigeons in England and they bring them over here. Uh, you have places where it is for us out of Belgium rather impossible to ship pigeons like uh, let's say the uh, Australia is very difficult from here. I think that's easier out of England than out of Belgium and you have other destinations like that. Um, Let's say that more or less the, the, the common world or the common world like you had, uh, I think it's easier to ship out of England than out of Belgium. Well, it's also like that that we need somebody to, who brings them from England to Belgium, that all the paperwork and so on and so on and uh, is, is, is okay for us, that we know what, what, what we get that all the ring numbers are, are uh, checked and this and that, that they are exact and that they give me, let's say, the, the right information that I need to get them over to Japan or Taiwan or, or everywhere. It's 19 vehicles, yeah, we've made a substantial investment this year, uh, £400,000 uh, into new uh, vehicles. Uh, we've just ordered another three now to take it up to 22. Uh, a lot of our guys are logistically minded with pigeons. We've got very few drivers now that aren't, um, but they specialise into other things that we specialise in as well. And 
uh, we can see ourselves getting even bigger over the next 12 months. We offer a policy where we keep vehicles for only three years old and we only ever run Mercedes because uh, we have a big backup uh, within the UK and Europe uh, on breakdown service. Obviously being Mercedes we don't break down that often but when it is a slight problem they are there within an hour and they do it straight away. We don't use small vans, we tend to run the biggest vehicles we can run so as every bird's got plenty of room and the air is flowing around the vehicle nice and freely and there's no problem with overloading or anything like that. So welcome at the Natural Breeding Station. So uh, I think we are the biggest breeding station for racing pigeons in the world. Uh, we yearly ship about uh, 15,000 young pigeons uh, all over the world, also to the UK. And from last year on we do our transport with uh, walkers from the UK. Or they come to pick up the pigeons here every week on a Tuesday and Tuesday around noon and Wednesday they are in the UK. So uh, from last year on it's very easy to ship pigeons uh, to the UK, also to Ireland. My name is Sergio, I'm uh, the international promoter for Malgar Great Derby in Portugal and uh, we use uh, the walkers as uh, our uh, transport uh, to deliver our pigeons uh, in Holland, from uh, England, from Wales, uh, from Scotland, whatever, just use these guys, they are doing a nice job, a great job. So if you want to send pigeons to us, just uh, take contact with uh, Mr. Mark Walker and we will make the delivery in Holland to me. Well, I'm, I'm Frank Smears. I, I work at GPS Auctions uh, as a commercial manager. Actually, I work at GPS Auctions as well as Team GPS, the racing loft. Um, over here, we have an online auction house selling about 100 to 150 pigeons every week. A lot of them also go to the UK and we use uh, Mark, Mark Walker as our courier our current courier. He comes here every week, taking the birds up here, takes care of them in his van and brings them up to the UK. We have a lot of uh, satisfied customers from the UK uh, about the transport and we also always recommend Mark as, our, uh, as a transporter. Good morning people, it's Tuesday morning, uh, we're up and get ready at them. Uh, we, we start to uh, collect the birds today. And so it's a bit of a mad rush today, so as we can get as much as we can on, as quick as we can, get them back to the UK as safe as we can. Yeah, it's uh, very good for me uh, to transport my pigeons with walker. Uh, it's very valuable and, and, and safe transport. We do it so many times, so it feels good for me that, uh, that my pigeons are in, uh, in good hands. Uh, pigeons are starting to get very big in the world of Asia and that people in England like to export to Belgium and Holland on a weekly basis uh, with confidence and hopefully we fill them people with confidence all the time. Uh, we're getting a lot of good reviews back and uh, we're acting on that uh, on behalf of me and the company. We're really grateful for everything we get feedback. Um, yeah, I'm not saying we're perfect, I'm not saying nothing's never going to go wrong in life, it always does. Uh, when you're dealing with livestock, but I've got 28 years of knowledge of birds, transshipping birds in and out of Europe for 28 years, and there ain't a lot you can tell me about birds that I don't already know. My name is uh, Frank Nabig, I'm director uh, and owner of Animals to Fly for 26 years now. We are transporting uh, animals from out of Amsterdam all over the world. Um, we also do crown transport and for the collection of our pigeons in the uh, UK we are using walker transport. Very convenient, they have a, a, a tight schedule, a good pricing uh, and, and a good service. Hello, my name is uh, Pieter Vogel and uh, we are here uh, at the location, the Top, top Pigeons uh, Logistics Center where the, our uh, pigeons from the auction uh, go to uh, go to the UK and packed up by uh, by the transport of Mark Walker. The, the UK is a big market for us already for, for over six seven years I think. But also the UK is growing. Uh, this is because of the pigeons. The Dutch marathon pigeons are specific pigeons for the difficult races. And in England it's not so easy to get the birds home when they have flown over France. Then they have to pass the, the channel and then. 
mostly in the wind and rain and in the UK, several hundred kilometers, then you need very tough pigeons. We are proud of, uh, of the customers in the UK. Uh, for us it's a big plus that we have a good combined with uh, local transport for the pigeons. Mostly every two weeks he's, at, uh, he's over to pick up the pigeons and so uh, we, we can uh, offer good service to our customers in the UK. I pride myself on being a first class courier uh, and that's what we do. And uh, it's working very well at the moment and I'm hoping to put a few twists to it next year where we can make it even better.